PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I'm not going to take you through all of these stickers. Uh, obviously, i got to knock off the uh, wax stains on the back of, of most of them, but I'm going to take you through the MJs, and I don't know... If you guys can see the wax stain, I'm gonna try to get it in the glare where y'all can see it. It's definitely there on every single one of these. Um, again, I, I don't know, I'm trying, I'm doing my best, but it's there, you just gotta trust me. So we're uh, gonna do our circular motion, sort of try to work through each one of these. Got my pantyhose. I just do a one finger deal and I do a nice circular motion and then I do some horizontals and some verticals after. But mostly it's about the horizontal. You don't want to push too hard. You want to get the, the wax stain from the back of the pack off, but you don't want to push too hard. Might need to put some heat on these. Remember, these were pack pulled from 1986. Better, still not perfect. I still see some more. So I'll have to work through here. You don't want to push too hard with your off fingers either. And you definitely don't want to catch the edges. So you don't want to scrape this way or this way for sure. Again, now there might be more than one way to do this, but this way's always kind of worked for me. I probably I know this mat's clean, so that's why I've got it face down on the mat, but you should probably put a penny sleeve and a top loader on the other side. I'm trying to find how it looks in the glare. All right, this one looks pretty good. Looks like I got it. It's a pretty good looking Jordan sticker too. So I've got a fresh penny sleeve and I've cut off the top left corner so that when I put it in here, God, I need to get my glasses on. Yep, I gotta get my glasses. Hang on. I'm old. Slides right in, you don't catch the corner. Boom. One down, uh, three to go. And yeah, I got band-aids everywhere because I've been transferring cards Nice. That's a good looking Jordan sticker right there. And so you can see the top's cut off, but it shouldn't matter in this Ultra Pro because it's protected anyway. So that's just to make sure you don't catch the corner putting it in there. I've started doing that on some of the bigger cars. All right, next one. Another good looking Jordan sticker. Here we go. We got four total. Oh, and that one I've already cut the corner off of, so that's a fresh one. All right, let's see if I can find the gum stains. Here we go. Over here, same size. <laughs> Same side as the last one over here on the left, okay. Here we go. You wanna get kind, you gotta get to the edge, but you don't wanna get too close to the edge. If you've gotta get some gum, I mean some, uh, God, do I keep saying gum stains? If you've gotta get some wax stains off the edge, you wanna run parallel with the edge like this and put a little more pressure on there. You don't want to get a little aggressive with the circular motions near the edge because you catch an edge and now you got an edge issue and your PSA grade, instead of getting a seven, I'm going to get a six. You know, you know me, I don't get good grades from PSA. But I keep sending them there for some reason. Mm, that looks pretty good. Got some more edge. I hate trying to get the edge because it's the most dangerous, but there's really no way around it. Looks good to me. All right. Two down. Nice. 
nice and smooth. Okay. There we go. I guess this video could be sort of boring. Again, just to recap, these are some of the 86 Fleer cards that I picked up in the, uh, ooh, that is a monstrous fish eye. Can y'all see that? <laughs> I don't know how you can miss it. Right there on the back. And not to mention it's horribly, horribly centered on the back. But it is what it is, and it's a Jordan Fleer rookie sticker, so it's got to go. And there's really not many. I don't see any white. Oh, there's some. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so it's moved. So this one's sort of more in this area over here. I was wondering. I was looking around. And you just kind of want to move your fingertips so it's got a different pressure point from different angle. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't use a fat, uh, like a flat finger. You got to almost use the very tip of your finger. Let's see how we're looking here. This one's definitely not going to grade super fantastic. Again, I'm no expert at this, but this is how I do it, and it seems to have worked for me in the past. If somebody's got some better ideas on how to do this, please feel free to share it. I am not the uh, be-all, end-all. I'm just taking y'all along with me on this journey and trying to convert this collection. I'm trying to recoup some of the expenses from this collection. Some of these cards... You know, I will synthesize and incorporate into my collection, obviously, but the 86 Fleer sticker I've already got uh, in pretty high grade, so I'm not going to need to uh, add any more of these to my collection. All right, let's put that over there. The last one. This is a Decent looking one too. All right, let's see if we can find the wax stain. That is easy. Can y'all see that? Do y'all, is that on the screen right there? Can y'all see that right there? The light's shining right on it. And it's back, and there's actually a little bit on this side as well. So this one's got some wax stains all the way up here and then a little piece down here at the bottom. So we'll work through it again. Let's get this, this bottom area first. Oh, that came off easy. Like I'm looking at it in the glare, that came off really, really easy. That's good. Yeah, that one's up. We'll work our way across the card. Oh, this is a little rough over here. Okay. should that should do it I see a little a little more residue up here all right now we're good yeah All right, four for four, that's it. That's how I do it, we'll see. Let me know what you think these guys are gonna grade. 
Um, I got two base going in. Um, two base 57s going in. One of them looked pretty good, like a 7.5 to 8.5 range. I know that's ambitious. Uh, on these stickers, this one's a little fat left to right. This one's a little fat right to left. This one looks good. And this one looks uh, pretty good too. So maybe some sevens and eights with an outside shot at a nine on one of these two. Is that crazy? It doesn't look to be too diamond cut. Um, this one looks phenomenal. Actually, now that I look at it again, like this looks really good. This one right here, let's go this way. Let's go nine, eight, seven, seven with an outside shot. One of these gets a six just because I usually get hammered. So that's it guys, that's it for today's video. Some pantyhose work.